When Major League Rugby's third season screeched to an abrupt halt thanks to the pandemic, it kicked off a seemingly endless hiatus from the game. As they say, absence makes the heart grow fonder, and no one felt that more deeply than the players themselves. For Juan Pablo Aguirre, the 26-year-old Argentine center, formerly of both Austin and Rugby United New York, the opportunity to get back on the pitch and train with the Kansas City Blues in preparation for his third MLR campaign, having recently signed with the Seattle Seawolves, was one he couldn't pass up. He said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been hard. It's actually mentally pretty hard. I was three, two, three months without doing anything, just training in my house, lifting, running by myself. Like, mentally it's hard. Aguirre's path to professional rugby has been anything but a straight line. He rose through the club ranks back home in Buenos Aires to represent Argentina as one of the best players on the planet in his age grade at the 2013 Under-20 World Championships. Alongside future world stars like All Blacks Scott Barrett and Artie Savea, South African seven sensation Cibolo Sanatla, and England's Jack Knoll and Anthony Watson. I went to that Junior World Cup already with my shoulder injured but it happened right before it, and I didn't want to have surgery. So I had surgery after the Junior World Cup, uh, and that kind of like bring me down of the squad. And going into my second Junior World Cup, uh, I broke my shoulder again, playing for my club. Taking a year off from the game to heal did no favors for Juan Pablo's quest to play for Argentina's senior national team or to follow his Pumita teammates to the pros. When I was in the Junior World Cup, that was my, my main goal. Uh, I thought that after that I was going to go play in Europe, uh, play for the big leagues, and yeah, that would be my future. But that injury came, came right on time for crashing my dreams in a way. It was hard, uh, I'm not going to lie. It was mentally hard, uh, kind of like you rethink everything twice, uh, but I just let it, I let it go. I let it go with the flow and keep moving forward. With professional rugby now firmly on the back burner and his father taking a job in New Jersey, Aguirre decided to follow his family to the States in pursuit of an education. Fortunately, I have a rugby scholarship in a university here in America, and that gave me the opportunity to do both. Maybe not at the same level, but now I have a degree and I keep playing rugby. Aguirre made an instant impact at Lindewin University, nestled in suburban St. Louis, helping the Lions win the 2018 Penn Mutual Collegiate Rugby Championship and to a Final Four appearance in 15s. Major League Rugby then kicked off its inaugural campaign at the end of his sophomore season, rekindling an old dream. I was like, okay, now I'm here. Like, I'm living in America. There's a professional league here in America. Uh, I'm playing great level in college rugby, so maybe I'm, I'm going to be able to like, make it to the league and it happened. As a rookie, JP earned seven caps for Austin, starting across the midfield at fly half, inside and outside center. Though Austin went 0-16 that season, New York took notice of his play, recruiting him for 2020. However, thanks to injury and COVID, Aguirre would never pull on the Rooney pinstripes. They decided to release me uh, in the open list players, and that day they released me, my term and called me, he's like, uh, what do you think about Seattle? <laughs> uh, I was like, Man, to be honest, I love the city, I love the team. I know it's a great organization, the best fans in the league. Um, so yeah, if there's an opportunity over there, I, th I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for me to develop as a player. And they want me on my natural position, which is uh, inside center, so that's good. Three clubs in three years may seem like too many, but for Aguirre, like many foreign-born MLR players, collecting stamps in his passport is half the fun. I've been traveling a lot. Uh, I've been exploring the USA. Living in different cities kind of opened my head a little bit, opened my mind, different cultures, different... Texas is really different to New York, and I, I bet Seattle is going to be really different to, to anything else. Every city. All right, wow, that's a lot. Tennessee, Notre Dame, Kansas City, New York City, LA, San Diego, Seattle, Miami, Orlando, New Orleans. St. Louis, of course, that's what, where I spend most of my time here in America. New Jersey, Tewksbury, Austin, Dallas, Houston. I was in Hawaii this year. All right, so played rugby. I visited England, France, Ireland, Wales, Spain, Uruguay, Brazil. Though JP has certainly soaked up life as a Rolling Stone, he's ready to plant some roots and hopefully win some championships. It's been good, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm ready to settle. Uh, the next few years of my career are gonna be good to settle. So if that happens in Seattle, more than welcome, but you never know.